What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and apparently there's level 6 CPUs that are comboing niggas left, right and center. I don't know the exact details but from what Emblem Warrior here is saying, level 6 CPUs need to get nerfed and I'm co of course we all know that this isn't in like a serious context or whatever but let's see exactly what he was talking about because when I saw this status, it made me wonder how bad did he catch that ass whooping from a level 6 CPU for him to make a status like this towards me. So let's see exactly what's going on here. Um, I guess the CPU, yeah, the CPU is pit and the player is King Day Day Day. Let's see how badly this nigga gets fucked up. I guess he's playing a mass replay right now. Okay. 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 Shit! Yo! It's really interesting, you know, like... Hmm. Alright, so let's be honest here, you know? Right now, this is a random video, you know, it doesn't even have that many views. But at the same time, we can all tell from just observing that the DDD player wasn't exactly on point. And I don't mean to give an insult out to Emblem Warriors. I mean, you know, it's not necessarily about that. But this brings me into another chain of thought, which I did want to talk about a while ago, but I just never got on top of it because I didn't really see too much confirmation until recently, actually. This video brings in mind something that I thought of in regards to the CPU performance in Smash. I feel like there have been updates in where the CPU is a lot more viable than beforehand. Now, Anybody who knows how to play Smash can beat down a CPU, but in the beginning, the very beginning, I don't know if some of you agree with the statement that I'm about to make, but I feel like the CPU in the beginning was a lot weaker than what they were now. Like at level 9, when the game first came out in Japan, and here's the thing, I actually have the Japanese version available to play because I use the Gateway 3DS currently, and so I have the first iteration of Smash 3DS in Japanese available to play on my 3DS at any time. And the CPU in the early games is nothing at level 9 compared to the CPU in the further games now. I mean, I can still beat both of them, and I'm not trying to act like I can flex or whatever, but I mean, the CPUs can be managed, but it's a lot more difficult to pinpoint the level 9 CPUs. And I think the reason of that is because after the later patches, suddenly, oh wait, my, my um, Wii U actually went off talking about 200cc Mario Kart. Shit looks crazy, man. It's like some F-Zero type shit. But the thing is, is that level 9 CPUs, after a couple of updates in Smash 3DS and Wii U, suddenly became really good at, you know, spot shielding. Or I shouldn't call it spot shielding. I should call um, perfect shielding. So... It, it was almost to the point where it was a little bit unrealistic and unhumanistic as well too because who the hell can really perfect shield something in sequence on a multi-hit move so easily, you know? There's no way in hell that a human player would be able to do that unless you were fucking Daigo from Street Fighter or something like that. But either way, it was kind of crazy to see the CPU change in terms of its viability so much. And I think this is once again thanks to those updates. But I wasn't exactly 100% sure if this was the case or not. But I feel like it is. I really, really do. Playing the original iteration of Smash 3DS now and then playing, you know, the more recent one now. Like, it, it just, I mean, the first iteration kind of just didn't compare in comparison to the newer ones that came out. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. This DDD play, like, I mean, like, you guys saw in this video, right, the level 6 pit, he did seem to combo up a little bit, but it's nothing really that impressive. So, I mean, either way, thank you for showing me this, but it does bring up the topic of, did the CPU get buffed in a lot of Smash Brothers updates after the original iteration was released? I feel like it was, but that's just me. How do you guys fare against the level 9 CPU? They're viable. I mean, I feel like they're very viable in some ways, not off stage, but sometimes on the ground because of the perfect shielding, they can be a little bit annoying, especially if you're using a projectile based character against somebody who kind of has reflecting, like Dr. Mario or Mario or whatever. Either way, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.